guys so uh welcome back uh it's been a long time since i've uh, been on here been out of work the whole time uh actually since uh let's see what well, april 7th i think was the last day at uh, Har uh not Harlan, at chief and i was supposed to go to uh creek that next week and that didn't pan out because i failed my physical and uh well, basically, I spent the next 10 weeks at home, uh, you know, trying to uh, get the health under control and my diabetes, trying to get it under control, and you know, eventually did. And so I'm able to go back to work, except uh, I didn't go back to Crete. Instead, I elected to go with Heartland Express. Was it the right choice? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out. The whole reason I left Chief in the first place was because they were losing their big customers and miles were, uh, you know, going down and, uh, you know, it, the work just wasn't there. So the only thing I could think to do, well, if I go to a big carrier, maybe it'll be better. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see, but, um, yeah, I, I didn't think Crete was going to work out for me. Uh, well, a few reasons. One, being out three weeks at a time, uh, running all 48 states. I just have no care to be on the West Coast anymore. I used to run the West Coast back when I was an owner-operator, but I just don't care to be out there anymore. So I uh, accepted a job with Heartland Express which I'll be running uh, Denver and East. So, I, you know, I guess basically everything from I-25 and East. And, um, but I'm here in Chester, Virginia. I just got done with day two of orientation. I'm here at the hotel, as you can see. And uh, it's been pretty laid back. Uh, yesterday we, uh, we did, you know, basically all the classroom work. I uh, got my road test in. Spent a lot of time standing around. I was the only one in class. Um, uh, they had they had a class that started Monday, so it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for them, and there were four of them. So I was going in for my first day on Wednesday, and and they were finishing up. So the guy that uh, was doing the class spent some time with them, and then spent some time with me. Uh, I had did my drug test before I come up here. They didn't have me do another physical, which was surprising. Usually companies want you to go to their doctor uh, to get a physical, but they let me use mine that I had gotten on my own uh, back last month. So I didn't have to do that. So uh, basically just, to, just you know, sitting in the classroom all day and then did a road test and then sat in the classroom some more. And today's pretty much the same thing, just uh, learning the e-log and, you know, watched a few videos and you know, that's pretty much it. So, but I got a little short tour here of the facility. This is in Chester. And they're remodeling this whole property. So, uh, well, I didn't get any shots of the outside, just, uh, the new driver's room is basically all I got. So here that is. So this is the bathroom in the driver's lounge. And I got some shower stalls here, it looks like uh, three. And then they also have some in the women's bathroom. Of course, I didn't go in there. But good sized bathroom. This is the the driver's lounge, we got some uh, goodies there. TV with some company info. Uh, the e-flow thing, or the whatever you call that, scanning thing. Coffee, ice, kitchen, TV and chairs. I do like the panel in here, that diamond plate. Uh, this is just uh, just outside the break room, going outside. And uh, this is the classroom where they hold orientation. Good sized room. 
These are the E-logs. These are Isaac on the go, I think they're called. And this is outside. Uh, there's a CDL training school that operates in the property next to us here. And they were having a class today, as you can see. Future Truck Drivers of America. So, a little short video there of the facility here in Chester. And um, I might get some video of the uh, you know, outside tomorrow. They're doing a lot of renovations, uh, paving the property and uh, rebuilding a shop, uh, a new fuel island and wash bay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just do some video of that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is basically just going to be me sitting around waiting on the head safety guy to sign off on my employment. So I'm getting picked up tomorrow at 8 a.m. here at the hotel and uh, basically just sitting uh, there at the terminal in Chester until I get the okay to get in the truck. And uh, that'll probably be around, I'm hoping around 11, but it'll probably be 12 or a little later, uh, just depending on how much work the safety guy has before he gets to my file and approves it. So I'll get my truck tomorrow. Uh, they got three different kind of trucks here. They got Freightliners, Kenworths, and International. So I don't know what I'm getting. Uh, they do have 10 speeds here, and I did request a 10 speed. So I'm pretty sure I'm getting a manual, which is a change. I haven't driven a manual in quite some time. Uh, I was kind of surprised that they even had manuals here. So I went ahead and jumped on the chance to to uh, you know, at least request one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get one, but I don't know what kind of truck I'm getting yet. Um, I did see some uh, internationals and I think they had one or two Kenworths back there that were free and I think I only seen one Freightliner, which was the Freightliner that I tested in. So I don't know if that is just used for, you know, driving tests or or you know if that's a truck they might give me i don't know um i would rather have uh either the kenworth or the freightliner i'm leaning more towards the freightliner i think they turn a little better uh, uh the kenworth i i don't know i've owned a kenworth before wasn't too happy with it but maybe it's changed by now although i do like the interiors of these 680s they are pretty nice. Uh, I care not for the international, so I hope I don't get uh, get stuck with one of them. But we'll find out tomorrow, and then I'll uh, do a little uh, tour of the truck. And uh, I don't have much with me, just one suitcase. So I'm hoping they send me straight home from here so I can get the rest of my gear and get on the road. So uh, I'll go ahead and end this video now, and uh, I'll... Uh, pick back up tomorrow and maybe uh, post another video tomorrow night. Uh, if, well, if I get home, because I want to, I want to get home, get my stuff uh, stuff in the truck, and then do a, a little tour of the truck. So, but that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll probably see y'all tomorrow.